And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who come in late, we are now having a little cooking session right here on the scene. Putting the pot on in here. And we'd like for you to join in with us and have a ball. Hi, this is Dara, and in this video, we're going to talk about uh, doing our sprint planning and setting up the space for that. So, so far, I've been working on the table just on the stories page, and you know, so we have our roadmap view and our grooming view. But now I'm going to bring in the staff utilization table, and it's going to start getting crowded in the space. So, I'm going to go ahead and create two new pages. Um, and it's actually good because when you come into the pages, they'll already be set up for the, the view that you're looking for. So when I'm in road mapping and grooming, I'm going to see these views of the table, but then I'm going to use a, a link database to show it in the sprint planning view. And if there's other views that we want, you know, we can just continuously set up the pages with that view. So let's go ahead and move the main table in here. And as always, I'm going to make this full width. Okay. And then I'm going to sprint plan. And I want to add two tables here. So I'm going to add the stories and the staff. Okay, let's work with the staff table first. So if you watch the video on the staff um, utilization and setting up that staff table, then um, you would have already seen the setup. So in here we've got the allocations, which is how much time uh, a person assigned to the two-week sprint. So um, you know how much they're allocated to the project for the two-week sprint. Then we went in and we created the standard meetings that that particular person attends and how much time that me those meetings take. And we subtracted that to create their actual utilization for this, this brand. And we've also had a placeholder spot for doing vacations. So I want to add, you know, so we've got the link here from Story Design because we had added that as a property in our stories table. So I want to go ahead and add a roll up, which is going to be sprint hours. And I'm going to make that from the stories assigned and it's going to be oops it's going to be the hours and the sum of all the hours okay so now i'm going to update my utilization uh, formula to include that as well all right so now once we do our utilization, we'll be able to see this number going down as we're adding tasks to, uh, to their plate. All right, so I'm going to create two views for this. So the first one's going to be uh, the ability to just quickly glance at vacation time. So at the beginning of our sprint planning, you know, well, the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have the amount of hours they're allocated. So we want to go ahead and look at, um, you know, any out of office times that are coming up. And for that, we're going to want to see their out of office. And we can go ahead and just to make it easy to, to read through the list, we're just going to sort by name. Okay, so we've got that Abby has 16 hours coming out on the sprint and Brie has four that they're going to be, you know, out of the office. All right, so the second list that we're going to create, and I'm just editing the, the untitled default view, which was that table. I'm just changing it into a list. And let's go ahead and just give it the name so it's friendlier than um, un, you know, untitled. Okay, and switch to that. And the things that I want to see this time around is I want to see what team they're on. I want to see what role they play. And then I want to see that utilization. 
Okay. All right, so that's it for the staff table. And as you can see, you know, there are some tasks that were already pre-assigned. So like our content strategy just only has an hour left. Um, I think that we had assigned a search ticket to a search research ticket to Nat, so that's taking out of his time. So let's go ahead and add that stories table. And by the way, I did say in the meeting uh, video that you that you know you could separate and do the the uh, development sprint planning and the design sprint planning as two separate meetings, especially if you're having problems like getting to everybody. Um, and in that case, I would just create another list and I'd filter this one to show uh, design and content and I'd filter the other one to show dev and I would make sure that the BA, um, well, the P I mean, if you should show project, they're both going to show the Brienne, Brienne and Sam. Um, but Sam, if you remember from that, the meeting, doesn't need to come to sprint planning because he's already given all the information that he needs to give during the grooming. So Sam could be spending his time doing some other things that he needs to take care of. All right, so let's go ahead and add in the stories table. All right, and here you can see that one that's assigned here. You can see that, you know, this homepage, we've already signed that. Maybe we did it during the grooming process um, earlier, but this is when we're actually gonna do the assignments. So we want a list view. I'm gonna delete. And so the same thing could be said that if we are dividing out the uh, sprints between design and dev, we could also create two views of this so that it's also split to match the, the staff, you know, what we're looking at for staff. Um, I want to filter, so, because right now we're seeing all of the, the tasks that we have in the backlog, and I want to only see the things that we've already said are ready for working. Okay, so these are all the things that we chose to work on in the sprint. Um, I can turn the labels off just because they take up a lot of space. And I want to put who we're assigning it to and the hours that it's going to take to get that done. Um, I can also do the type. Okay. And the reason for doing the type is that I want to make sure that uh, the stories that are like this one, the content, you know, getting the homepage content, this is a story to oversee the task of creating the, you know, design the content specs and building out the content type in the back end. So I actually want to assign this to our BA. It doesn't have hours. It, it's already been groomed. So the hours that the BA was spending on it has already actually been done. So if we had, you know, in a previous sprint is when you know, that, those hours would have been applied. So this would have already been assigned to Brienne because she would have been working on it um, since it came in. So let's go ahead and just fix that up. And maybe leftovers, you know, when she was first doing the grooming, um, that hour, the hours allocation would have counted towards the sprint where she was doing the grooming. Um, maybe just oversight is like, let's give it an hour. It's worth of oversight on this particular task. All right, so um, let's put some of these things in order. So we had that main ticket. So I can prioritize by just getting, grabbing a, an item and moving it up, right? So we want, this comes first. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is already assigned to Maya, it's six hours. Um, I wanna add it to the sprint, which I actually did not do here. So let's add this to the sprint. And then um, this is gonna be assigned again to the sprint. And this time we're going to put in, you know, one of our CMS developers, okay? So as we're doing this, this allocation is updating to match. So let me pick somebody so we can actually see the, the time change. So we've got, uh, Let's see, um, let's do one of the UI designers. So we've got Bell, and we do have these um, scenarios that still need to be completed. 
And so we're going to, and we've got 16 hours, so let's go ahead and, and assign that to Bell, right? And the sprint. And we can see now the change in her hours. Okay. And let's take the other one as well. Okay, and where is she? So now she's down to 32. Let's go ahead and give her the last one. Okay, so that's it for sprint planning. What I love about this system is, you know, when you're doing the sprint planning in JIRA, you see everything that you've got in your backlog. Um, by doing it this way, we only see the things that we've said are ready for us to work for the sprint. We're not looking at anything else. And of course, we're able to see our people at the same time to make sure that we're not over allocating anybody with their task. So that's going to be it for this video. In the next one, I'm just going to set up our daily sprint planning or daily sprint working view. So uh, as we're, we're moving through our day to day, how we move back and forth in sprints. All right, so take care, bye.